All right, this week on Y'all Crazy, I got a lot of news for you guys. So let's start more with this one first. This is Erdogan. He's the president of Turkey. He's only going to approve one country inside of the new NATO because the Nordic bloc will probably weaken ties with Russia and that will create a blockade around Russia. So in order to respect his friendship with Russia, he probably is going to only allow Finland inside of uh, NATO. Russia is also appointing a new commander due to the fact that a lot of failures has been going on in the Zaporizhia and Kherson region over the last 30 days. So they have a new uh, commander. Also, Russia has destroyed six command posts of the Ukraine operation. Uh, a lot of airstrikes have been continuing going on because honestly, that's the only thing they've been doing that's been successful. Uh, their military on the ground has been getting their ass kicked the last couple of weeks. Also, Russia this week has finally uh, completed uh, Zaporizhia's of being part of Russia. Uh, their new, now considered their new nuclear plant, it's going to be back online and it's through Russia. The employees there will be getting paid in, the, in the rubles, etc., etc. Their pensions. So this is totally, completely now part of Russia. And of course, all over our news right now, Biden is talking about Armageddon, saying like Putin is serious, even though he only said out his mouth that that he would use all measures to protect uh, Russian sovereignty. I didn't say he's going to drop a nuke. I mean, we all assume it because he does have nukes, but they all have the same two missiles and other technologies that, that haven't been put on the battlefield yet. But I get why America is now finally getting serious about this nuclear threat. They ordered $290 million worth of radioactive uh, um, medicine just in case a bomb do go off. Even though most of us ain't going to make it anyway if it does. But, <laughs> you know, safe to sorry. Uh, now Biden is pushing for... Um, marijuana laws get them to, he's saying they're racist <laughs> duh <laughs> but also to it was protection of the pharmaceutical business because a lot of people don't know cannabis was used for almost everything back in the 1800s so now during the midterms he's trying to push as much new things going on to get you know his democratic friends to reelect again with all the sanctions for russia and now opec possibly cutting their um their um, output of oil now the united states is considering um leasing some sanctions so chevron can pump more oil 